All right, everybody. The first go of torture boarding is done. I'm happy with it. It's coming out pretty nice, you know. I have areas like this that are still low, and they will need another application of all fair and another go of torture boarding. But just because there's still so many low spots, I'm just going to go ahead and glaze out everything one more time and then jump to 80 grit. So technically right now, the only thing I have left to, to do before I can do that is hand sand the water line. Obviously, I didn't want to take the torture board and run down and potentially hit the bottom paint and drag that dust up into my work. Well, that just wouldn't be good. So anyhow, with that being said, I'm going to take a break from the hole, give my arms a break. You know, that's, that's a pretty physical task. And, well, I have a lot of areas up on deck to address, especially underneath the gunnels. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that part of the job just to kind of, you know, give myself a break. But anyhow, let's get up on deck, and I'll show you all what I got going on. All right, all right. everybody, here we are up on deck under the gunnels. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is one big hollow void. So I'm just going to go around and bust them open just like that what i don't like seeing here is wire mesh it's not exposed here but it is exposed here and it's rusted that's what's holding all the concrete together so anyhow, just to show y'all, this is going to be a hard spot to work, and I'm probably going to need to get a smaller chisel, but there's a lot of these areas, and they're spaced out about this far apart, but ultimately run down the entire gunnel, port, and starboard, so another time consuming task. Anyhow, I'm gonna jump into busting open all these voids, time lapse status, and I'll catch up with y'all on the next step. All right. guys here it is hardware removal time now i have a lot of hardware to remove and i'm not going to cover this entire process however i'm not removing all the hardware i wish i was but i'm not so y'all saw me doing some exploratory digging into the gunnels where there was voids and whatnot well just to show you real quick you know i opened up a bunch of stuff like that and with all the stanchion bases in place and whatnot, I, I, I was just tankering around. So now I'm gonna go around and remove all the stanchion bases, cleats, snaps for canvas, little clamshell vent covers, etc. And that's probably gonna be about the extent of all I remove. Just like with on the hull, plans have changed on the deck. I'm only gonna be doing spot repairs and making it look pretty. Hey, it, you know, it is what it is, but Anyhow, so for the time being, I'm going to jump into hardware removal. As before, the hull is on hold. There's no reason for me to proceed with that right now. I want to go ahead and get the deck called up to speed. So I'm going to get to unbolting, and I'll catch you all soon. All right. Something I wanted to jump in and note real quick. I know most people know this already. It's kind of common sense, but when removing hardware, just to save yourself a headache in the future, it's good to just go ahead and label everything for where you know that it's coming off 
and then that way when it's time to reinstall after fresh paint it's a fairly quick process just zap 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 so anyhow i just wanted to note that label all your hardware it'll save you a lot of hassle in the end all right I'm down below in this boat I'm working on trying to find nuts for hardware that I got to get off the deck and well check this out Let's see if y'all can see that there's a Morgan silver dollar down there yeah that's pretty cool now I'm gonna go up to the other mass hole and see what coin they have up there people put these underneath their masks for good luck and well, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. And I was just surprised to see the Morgan dollar. So anyhow, thought I'd share that with y'all. Uh, here I am at the other mass step. And well, there was a dollar down here. Let me see if y'all can see it. You can see the indentation where it was. And somebody has removed that recently. So that's not cool. That's somebody's good luck token that they put down there. And well, now I'm gonna go find out, see if I can see who took this thing. Try to get it back and get it put back where it belongs. Anyhow, all right, see y'all later. All right, so I'm back here at the one where I showed y'all the silver dollar was still in the hole. So I just went and talked to the boss man and I'm gonna remove this one so that it's not taken. And we're gonna try and see if we can't locate the other one because somebody got that. Anyhow, I'll show you all the coin once I get it out the hole later. Hey everybody, I found the other coin. Another employee had grabbed it and well, once it was all brought to attention, we got both coins back together like they're supposed to be. So that made me happy. I was a little worried, but we got it. So all is good. All right. All right, everybody. So here we are on the port trim removal. Now I've already taken the fasteners out and now I got to pry this off. Now when doing this, you need to be really careful. Try not to break the glass and you don't want to bend or gouge out the, the stainless steel trim ring. So. All I have is this nice flat skinny scraper and my rubber hammer and you're just going to take your time and once you get it to pry up you just slowly work around the end. Now I know many of y'all already know this but still going to show it. So it's a time consuming process but this is how you want to start this. Now I'm going to time lapse it and get the rest of these off. So I'll catch you all on the next step. All right guys, so I got all the trim rings off and now I'm going to use the same scraper to remove the remaining bedding that is stuck. So obviously you don't want to try to sand all of that. So you just scrape off what you can and then solvent clean to remove the rest of the residues, but it's just like this. You know, it's a really quick process. This part is anyhow. And that's what we're doing, removing this crap. So again, time lapse status, let's get it done. got all the excess bedding removed and now just as a precautionary step you want to go ahead and vacuum up all this crud that way you're not stepping on it and rubbing it into the deck where you're going to be sanding in the future so I just wanted to note that simple step real quick all right Well, that one didn't come off as planned. The whole backing block came with it and 
Well, it was just bedded with some type of filler to the concrete and then through bolted. There's some evidence of some rotting happening where it was getting wet, but anyhow, something else to address. It's a minor issue, but figured I'd show you all that. All right. Something I wanted to jump in and show you all real quick. On a lot of this hardware that I'm removing, it's like they had laid up glass on the deck and before the glass kicked, they went and installed all the hardware. And I mean, that's a thin layer of glass on the bottoms of these cleats. Aside from that, none of this stuff has been bedded. And well, they didn't even prime the deck. They just shot paint or rolled it right on top of all the bare glass. So it's pretty odd. Anyhow, you gotta love it, any. everybody that was a lot of hardware and I've pretty much removed everything I'm gonna remove I have a few more pulleys to remove and this monstrosity of a hard top canopy cover whatever you want to call it that still needs to be removed but aside from that everything that's getting removed has been removed so the stern pulpit is all unbolted I just need to get a handful of guys up here to help me get it off the boat and well yeah so Here's the bulk of what I've taken off. Everything is labeled and I know exactly where it needs to go. There's all my fasteners labeled for each hardware it belongs to. And you know, I got the hatches all unbolted and pulled off, but I decided to set them back in place until I get some type of cover made. That way there's not open holes on the boat for somebody to potentially fall into. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. It was a lot of me bouncing around, but there was just so much hardware to take off. I figured I'd just show you all short clips of each type of hardware I was taking off. And so the next step is going to be busting open cracks, knocking out bad filler, and getting everything prepped. I have to glass the entire gunnel, port and starboard side, and then this whole deck is a plywood deck and everywhere the plywood butts up to the next piece, it's all cracked. So I have to grind all that out and glass that as well. At first I thought I was glassing the entire deck. Well, just like with the whole plans changed, but hey, it is what it is. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, even though it was really just me bouncing around exploring and removing hardware. So hit that like button. Share with your friends. Let me get some more subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next step. All right, later.